absolutely correct as possible. And beyond that, we will commit to the emotional truth of the story. We're telling a greater thing than just you and your arm being severed and your escape. It's about where you were as a person in your life at that time. And that's the way audiences will respond to this story, really, more than just a survival story. And he got that. And he, you know, he told us some very honest, difficult stuff about what he was up to in his life at mm -hmm. that time. And it wasn't pretty. Mm -hmm. And he allowed us to put that in the movie um, very bravely and with a great deal of trust, I think. Um, and I think it's, it's true on a very deep level to, to Aaron's state of mind and where he was at that stage in his life. And I think if you ask him, he would say the same. Now, I asked both Danny and James this morning that the idea of time is quite crucial to this, this yeah. four and a half days that decide whether he's going to live or die. And it's a very moving concept. I think we spend most of our time not thinking about how much time. Yeah. And I'm curious, as you evolve as an artist, you know, how has time changed for you? Do you feel a certain pressure now to do certain types of works at this point in your life? What an interesting question. Yes, I've been very busy, worked on a lot of films, embraced everything that came my way because that's kind of my nature. And I feel it's time to slow up and just do the ones that you feel are the g little gems that come along, that have many layers uh, and that speak to everybody in a room. Those are the ones, really. Because that's always Danny and my ambition is... Whatever the, whatever the movie you're making, it doesn't matter whether it's little kids running around a slum or a guy trapped in a canyon. Really, it's about communicating with your 250 people who are in that dark space. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the key, and that, you know, that's the ambition. My last question, were you in that space yourself? Did you see where Aaron actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't write a story like this without going down there. Yeah, the boulder's still there. And a very small and unimpressive little thing it is, too. I mean, you're surrounded by much, much bigger things, and there's a rock like that, and you think, wow, that little rock caused all this trouble. It's really how that, that the collateral effect of all this is just, it's just one thing, one statement, one gesture, yeah. can change a lot of things. Simon, yeah, thank you so much, sir. Really nice